So you're running into this problem. You have just started printing, or you turn the machine on, and the hot end is not heating up. You actually can see mine's cooling down. Um, don't fear. There's a very common issue that happens with, with the DaVinci. Um, I don't know if they fixed it, but open up the back and get down to this plug. See right here? There's the plug. You can unconnect it right here. And uh, if you're lucky, or if you're lucky, you can replug it back in and it'll start heating back up. Um, but a, a quick way to see uh, if it's actually your um, heating element that I doubt is broken or the connection, try this real quick. First, get your multimeter, set it to connectivity. And you kind of can hear, try to do this with one hand, but you can hear the connectivity. So then put, it's very hard to do with one hand, but let's see if I can do this. But check these two leads on the plug and make sure that you have connectivity. You can hear that. So that means that the winding in um, the heating element is still good. Um, now let's go and check our voltage DC, your voltage DC, you can plug into the other side and let's see if I can just, uh, you, you plug it into the male side of the plug and, uh, see what I get. And I am reading right at 12.23 volts. See if I can, oh, it's very hard to show you that. So that means uh, on the left-hand side um, from the electronics, I'm getting the 12 volts to heat up. And on the right-hand side, um, I, do have, I do have connectivity. Um, so that leads me to believe I had a bad plug. So there's two things that you can do. You can try to plug it back in. And if you're lucky, you might get a good solid connection. And let's check. Is it heating back up? Oh, it is. Um, so that means the connection um, is bad. So two things that you can do. Either you can try to cut this connection off and put your new spade plugs on. Uh, good option. Just make sure that you have um, heat shrink or electrical tape wrapped around. Um, I think all I'm going to do is get some electrical get some electrical tape and electrical tape it to this harness. Uh, maybe that'll give me a better chance of the of the plug not coming apart. Hey everybody, Mark back again. I'm going to do a quick recap about the DaVinci 1.0 um, heating issue. Um, so yesterday I made a video of testing the conductivity as well as the voltage um, out of the heating lines. Um, or the heating plug that's going uh, to the extruder. And I got it. I thought I got it all fixed. I put some tape on it and I started printing. And you can see this would be a lot bigger. It stopped printing. Um, well, the machine continued to print, um, but uh, it did not uh, have any extrusion. So, it's going back. I went and cut the connectors off because they're useless um, and I looked at the pins so the pins for the from the electrical look really good and then when I cut this connector or broke the connector you can see this one uh, maybe you can focus in let's see oh, focus um, you can see this one is is okay there we go this one's okay but then coming to this one you might be able to see it is blackened. Um, looks kind of singed. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut away and I am going to cut all these connectors and then just solder the wires directly to each other. When cutting back the 
fiberglass insulation on the wires that go into the heater, heating block. Uh, I used a box knife. Um, leave this heat shrink on. They put that on there um, so it doesn't deravel. If you have to, when you're when you were cutting your connectors, if you did cut into this or did fall off, add some tape below or add some heat shrink below um, because this is. Um, this white uh, fiberglass housing um, does like to deravel on you. The next step is to get out your soldering iron and solder the wires together. After you solder the wires together, you can use your hot air rework tool or lighter to shrink the uh, shrink wrap. So. Um, another thing to note that the wires, um, because it goes to a heater, it doesn't matter which way you plug them in. Um, uh, all this heater block is, is actually a nichrome wire wrapped inside of it. Um, inside the heat, heating, uh, inside the extruder element. Um, so it doesn't matter which way you put the wires, there's no polarity. There we go. Put that back. And you can see I use a clear, um, a clear uh, tubing, um, shrink wrap tubing to go over it. Um, but that's it. That should, let's turn it on. And if we are lucky, get the wires all the way here. You guys, uh, when you work on it, you'll notice um, it is kind of a hard place to work in. So hopefully the extruder it's going to warm up. There we go. So I'm going to run a test on it. Um, but that is how you fix the um, heater on the extruder.